Someone is picking up campaign signs in Tulsa and the candidates can't do anything about it. News on 6's Emery Bryan is live on that story. Emery. Well, Craig, this close to an election, all of Tulsa's intersections are usually filled with campaign signs like this one near Gilcrease and Edison, but this is a rare exception. Very few campaign signs out now on the right of way, and there's a reason. Tulsa's street corners and roadsides are almost clear of campaign signs, and it's because of a change that encourages people to pick up signs they find in the right of way. There is no candidate that can put signs in the right of way and have them up more than a day. So we're having to find other ways to do it. Candidate Dan Hicks is a veteran of campaigns when signs could go just about anywhere. And so it's a different rule, different set of rules, but we are following the rules and we're getting our name out. Candidates can put signs up in yards or on fences with permission, and it's forcing more door-to-door -door contact with voters. No, I can't remember that we ever let anyone put a sign up here. But once someone asked, Peggy Rocket agreed. There's been some comments. People stop and ask if... Uh, I wanted somebody to know who I was voting for, and I said, you bet. The change came out of City Councilor Phil Lakin's personal gripe about so many signs of all kinds along Tulsa streets. I see many signs during the day. I go back to try to pick them up at night, and they're already gone. He's one of so 64 volunteers trained by the city who have picked up an estimated 3,000 signs since April 1st. So I'm really grateful to have other people out there who are either certified by the city to remove the signs or just following the law, which allows them to remove the signs if they're within about 12 feet of the roadway. And that is roughly the guideline in most situations, about 12 feet from the roadway. These signs back here, clearly in the right of way, not supposed to be there. City currently has a waiting list of volunteers who want this training. They're going to open up another uh, training class sometime in the fall. Reporting live on the scene, on the story near Gilcrease and Edison, Emory Bryan, News on 6.